Are you ready for another sensational game of... Yes, Don't you just love it? The winner of this game is the one who correctly identifies which history provides the best explanation for the facts scientists observe. Is the best history the one recorded in the Bible, where an infinitely intelligent God creates the whole universe in six days, about 6,000 years ago? Or is it the one that starts with a big bang, where the whole universe has been slowly evolving for more than 13 billion years? My name is Percy Cooper. Let's meet our contestants. On the right, we have Dr. Chester Field. Professor of Philosophy at whoop de doo University. Welcome, Professor. Greetings, mortals. And on the left, we have Fred Farnstein, and he's a Walmart greeter. Hello, I'm really happy to be here. Mr. Farnstein, it's your turn to pick a topic. Okay, I'll take number two, fossils. Do you expect to win? Fossils prove evolution. Mr. Science, tell us about what scientists have observed in the fossil record. Paleontologists, scientists who study fossils, sometimes find things like this. A tree-like plant fossil extending many feet through separate layers of rock. These are called polystrate fossils. Wow! Thank you, Mr. Science. Audience, the question is... <laughs> Evolution over millions of years, of course. As all the textbooks clearly show with cartoon diagrams, living things fossilized slowly over millions of years as the sediments gently built up around them and they... Oh dear, that's not correct. Um, the Bible? The Bible says it was a global flood about 4,500 years ago. That would have buried many things quickly before they rotted completely. Biological structures, like the cells of plants and animals, decompose fairly quickly upon death. The best history to explain this polystrate fossil must include a mechanism that would bury its entire length before the top decomposes. Slow burial over millions of years would not produce the fossils scientists observe today. Well, that's it for today, folks. See you next time on... So you see, once you study philosophy, it's obvious that we can't even know anything for certain. Hey, you got my feet wet. You know that for certain? 